Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Um, hard to believe we are halfway through the month of November. Hey, as you're coming on this morning, um, please do say good morning, say hi. Love to be able to greet you guys, uh, as always. And, you know, I was reflecting a lot this weekend um, on a topic that, that we've touched on before, and I just want to go a little bit deeper on because I think particularly on the heels of last week when we're, when we're talking about uh, you know, creating a thought leadership platform. As you're talking about getting out there and connecting with other people, and you're talking about trying to find your tribe, um, we're talking about having deeper, more connected conversations than um, and maybe we have before. Maybe trying to go find a space to to create a space to go a little bit deeper and and have a different conversation, have a different emotional experience um, than than other people have had. And, and even to step away from that, what may start to sound like it's a competitive landscape, that experience that someone has with you and the experience you have with them is for me, I think the greatest bellwether because you, you know right here, you know between your head and your heart that you found your people. And, and I've seen, you know, several of you take some of these conversations and I, I mean, it's a little bit of a muse to, to go out there and, and dig in a little bit deeper on what this means for you, which I love. And that's why I wanted to talk about insight versus agreements today and talk about it from a 360 degree angle. And here's the difference. Um, insight versus agreement relative to a conversation, even like today, is thinking about the intention that you're coming in with and is it I'm looking to be yes or no with what somebody's saying or am I looking for insights? When Carolina, one of my clients was on um, about a week ago, we talked a little bit about this and I use my brother-in-law as an example, a guy who works with the Nobel Prize Committee and is a documentarian. And one of the things I've experienced, I've, I've known him since he and my sister were in high school together. Um, I noticed that the way he shows up for conversations is always around gaining insight, not necessarily agreement, because there are a lot of things that fundamentally we don't agree on, but seeking to understand and not seeking, you think about the Covey statement, seeking to understand and seek to be understood, that's insight for the purpose of agreement. And what I'm talking about is relative to this conversation right now, thinking about what comes up for you what are you seeing in terms of, and, and when you think about how you're coming to a conversation or how you participate in a conversation, is it win-lose? Is it pass-fail? Or is it going in trying to get greater insight versus an agreement? So I want to leave you with that today. And I ask you to post up below and tell me, what are the insights that you take away from this? What is it that's coming up for you as you're thinking about conversations where you're coming in for insight versus agreement? And no doubt there are times where you are moving towards an agreement. You are trying to win hearts and minds. But as you think about trying to find your own tribe and you try to find whether they're advocates, whether they are individuals who are going to carry your message forward, or whether you're looking for new clients, you're looking for a new opportunity, you're trying to suss out, um, you know, essentially culture in an organization and get people to demonstrate who they are versus just tell you who they are, demonstrate who they are. Are you showing up, setting those conditions for insights and also leaving it being more reflective on insights versus agreement? So I'll leave you there with that. I hope you have an awesome Monday. I'll be back here tomorrow. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later.